hello welcome so much to our youtube channel achieve finance tz and my name is cpa amina ramadhani haigai aka mrs finance welcome so much to today's video and it's a concept that i just want to simplify and to make you see another way in which uh, you can be able to calculate your net worth. We've talked uh, about net worth in our our previous videos. You might go and ha want to have a look at that. But today I'm just giving you the simplest version of how you can calculate your net worth. Now, net worth simply means what you are worth as an individual financially. We mean what you have that is yours as of today. It's like your financial position. What is your financial position? We know about financial position of companies and entities. We can just take the financial statement and look at the balance sheet, and then we can see the financial position of a business. Now, the same concept of a financial position of a business, we apply it now in our individual life and try to get uh, to know our financial position as of today. And your financial position at any current situation, that means it's your net worth. So your net worth just tries to see how much you own as an individual. So the best way and the simplest way to calculate your net worth, just assume right now, if you sell everything that is your asset, that is in your name, everything that is an asset to you, and it is in your name, if you sell it today, at the present current market value, how much are you going to get? If you sell that car, if you have a car or you have two or three cars, if you sell them today, and remember, cars don't appreciate in value. Car always, cars always depreciate in value. So assume the amount you're going to get today. Just go out and ask someone, if I want to sell this car, how much are you willing to buy? Just get the current market price of an, all the assets that you have. Uh, if it's a car, if it's a house that you live in or maybe it's a rental house whatever if it's a, a phone you have a very expensive phone you have a laptop everything that you know is your asset just try and sell it and you are not talking only about those physical assets that we see also the financial assets that you have get to know their value today if you have a bond somewhere if you have some shares in a company get to know today what is the value of that share that you have so try to get the present market value of everything that you have which is an asset and that belongs to you you know and then try to see if all those things you dispose them you sell them how much will you make okay and then the amount that you get put it aside and then determine all your liabilities all your loans try to remember everything that you owe anybody in this planet earth pay that assume you're paying it you're not saying that you go now you literally pay maybe you already have your payment plan but now we want to know today how much we are worth so we are assuming we've gotten the value of all our assets if you want to sell today you, we've gotten the amount of money that you have in your hand. Assume your car has been sold, your assets have been sold, you've taken your you are bond bond you've you've maybe sold it to someone else. So the amount of money you will have in your on your hands. And then pay now, pay out all the debts that you have, all the liabilities, everything that you know you owe someone, then pay it. And then the amount of money you will be left with on your hands that is your net worth because we've been able to know the value of our assets and the value of our liabilities and then we've deducted the two now the amount of money that you'll be left with on the street because now we've sold even the house so you're assuming you've sold everything and then you've paid off everything every debt you can remember that is in your name you've paid it and then the amount of money that is going to be left on your hands in the street now because you're assuming you don't even have a, a home so you're just paying people you've called them come i pay you you've paid them now what is left on your hands that is your net worth 
can you now get a picture of what we mean by net worth? Because currently, me here, I'm telling you this, I'm also trying to calculate my net worth. I'm just trying to see my car <laughs> that is rightly parked just outside my house. How much that car can go? I can sell it for and maybe a plot of land how much can i sell it and maybe that laptop of mine and what else do i have in my name those things that you have in your name just try to see how much is the current market value sell them assume you're selling them so get the market value put it aside then remember every tom dick and harry that owes you something or you owe them something please assume you are paying them every little bit from the bank loans to the peer-to-peer -peer loans from your friends until to the mobile money loans the kina kamilisha akina songesha akina nipige tafu all those assume you are paying them and then how much will you be left with here on your hands how much will you be left with that is going to be your network that is your network and that is your financial position as of today. Have I simplified that concept of calculating your net worth, of trying to determine how much you are worth today? Simply and basically, that's what it means. Okay? I wish you the best as you calculate, as you try to find out the market value of everything that you own. And you'll be surprised that things like cars, you cannot sell them for the prices that you bought them for. Because cars depreciate in value. They don't appreciate. So try to get the value of all your assets, deduct all your liabilities, and that is your net worth. I wish you the best as you calculate it. I will see you again on the next one.